The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O God. John the Baptist said to his disciples, He who comes from above is above all others. He who is born of the earth is earthly himself and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven bears witness to the things he has seen and heard, even if his testimony is not accepted. Though all who do accept his testimony are attesting the truthfulness of God, since he whom God has sent speaks God's own words. God gives him the Spirit without reserve. The Father loves the Son and has entrusted everything to Him. Anyone who believes in the Son has eternal life. But anyone who refuses to believe in the Son will never see life. The anger of God stays on Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in the gospel passage of today that we have heard, we have seen how John the Baptist is giving witness about Jesus Christ to his disciples. My dear brothers and sisters, when John the Baptist was in the womb of Elizabeth and when Mary visited Elizabeth, the child in the womb of Elizabeth leapt for joy. That was the first encounter between Jesus and John the Baptist. Then we have seen the next encounter between them. Both of them we see is during the time of baptism. Wherein John the Baptist was not wanting to baptize Jesus because of his humility. But then Jesus humbles himself and accepts the baptism from John the Baptist. And when the time, during the time of baptism, we see how the heaven opens, the Holy Spirit descends upon Jesus and the voice of the Father is heard that he is my beloved son, listen to him. My dear brothers and sisters, John the Baptist, who has witnessed Jesus very closely, is now preparing his disciples to accept all that what Jesus is speaking. He is helping them to believe. He is helping them to accept all that Jesus is preaching. Probably the disciples of John the Baptist must have heard about the teachings of Jesus and they must have come to John the Baptist. And now John the Baptist is leading them towards Jesus. And precisely that is what John the Baptist was come. He had come to prepare the way. And he said that he must decrease and Jesus must increase. And today we see that is being happening in the gospel passage of today. He prepared the disciples. And now he is leading his disciples to Jesus. Asking them to accept the testimony of Jesus. Because he has come from heaven. And he knows what he is speaking. He has seen his father. And Jesus is not only the face of his father, but is also the voice of his father. And that is why John the Baptist is telling that he is from above. And we need to accept and believe what he is speaking. 
and all those who accept, all those who believe and accept the message of Jesus will be blessed with eternal life. And all those who do not accept will not ac receive the eternal life. And he continues to say that the anger of God will always be upon them. My dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading of today, we have the same scenario wherein the chief priest call Peter and John and tell them that you need to stop preaching in the name of Jesus. And Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, confronts the chief priest and tells them, we have to obey God and not men. We are witnesses to the teachings of Jesus. We have received the Spirit to speak the truth. We have received the Spirit to proclaim the message of Jesus. We have not received the Spirit of Jesus to keep quiet or to go on hiding. But we have received the Spirit to proclaim and to be His witnesses. My dear brothers and sisters, the message of the readings are very clear to each one of us. We have received the Spirit of Jesus, that is the Holy Spirit. Each one of us has received it. And this Spirit doesn't allow us to be quiet. This Spirit enables us to proclaim and be witnesses of Jesus. We cannot receive the Spirit and be quiet. That is what we have seen in the life of Peter. So we have received it, the Spirit. It is a strength for us to proclaim the faith that we believe in. And when we do this, we are blessed or we will be blessed with eternal life. My dear brothers and sisters, Moses laid before his people, Israelites, and he said to them, I lay before you life and death. Choose what you want to. And today, John the Baptist is placing before us these two choices, life and death. If we believe in Jesus, He will give us His Holy Spirit. And not only the Holy Spirit, but He will also give us eternal life. If only we believe. But if we do not believe in Jesus, we will not receive eternal life. We will receive death or God's anger will always be upon us. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are children of God. And Jesus came on earth to take us back to His heavenly Father. Jesus came on earth to bless us with His eternal life. So let us choose life rather than death. May God give us the grace and courage to be His living witnesses. And let us not forget the Spirit of God is always with us.